I'm often asked why soil organic matter levels are different in different soils. If we think about a soil, the pieces of plant material that drop on the soil start to get broken down by microbes. The amount of organic matter that enters the soil is very dependent on plant productivity. And if we think about this as a tipping scale, on this side we have the amount of plant production. And that's very much related to the type of crop we're growing, so the amount of biomass that it produces, the climate, so how much net primary productivity can be grown, and of course how much we offtake in terms of a product from an agricultural aspect. On the other side of the tipping scales, we have the microbes, and they're using that organic matter as a food source. So they're breaking down plant residues as they enter the soil. The other loss mechanism is erosion, whether that be by wind or water. So at any given point in the field, the organic matter levels can vary through seasons and through years, depending on the inputs and the outputs. The other thing we need to think about is soil type. Not all soils are the same. Some soils have more clay, and the important aspect of clay is that the clay physically protects the organic matter from breakdown. Microbes cannot eat through the clay platelets to get to that organic matter. So soil type is certainly an important aspect, as well as the inputs of plant material and the rates of microbial breakdown.